Hey, what's up, guys? Imran here, Monster Gadgets, and uh, it's been it's been a few weeks now since uh, I've uploaded, and uh, I'm sure you can see behind me this is kind of uh, a, a new setting, if you will, and I've uh, been kind of busy. I am in the middle of uh, setting up my new studio, which I'm gonna show you guys the complete mess that it is right now. But we are gonna go ahead and unbox one of the more essential things you need to clean which is a vacuum. So we're gonna unbox that and set it up. But let me quickly show you the mess behind this, like the other side of the camera, so you guys can see how uh, crazy it is right now. So here's the kind of the, the craziness that's going on right now. I've got all my camera gear, my boxes, lights, stands, cameras, of course, printer, everything kind of sitting in the corner here. That's the current setup right now and uh, more stuff. But this is gonna be the new place, the new studio right now. I've gotta figure out what to do with this stuff. There's cables coming out, speaker set up, more cables. But this is definitely a much bigger, nicer space for me to do videos. Uh, and today, of course, we're gonna be unboxing and setting up this Robot Romba i7 Plus. Robot vacuum plus automatic dirt disposal. So of course, this is one of the essential items you need to keep your place clean. And uh, I'm gonna set this up and uh, see what it's like. So let's go ahead and yeah, this is my table for the time being, which I just realized this is not gonna work for this video. So let's go to a different spot and unbox and set this thing up. All right, so now that I'm here, let's go ahead and box this thing, set it up and scan out what it's like. So, let's see what we've got here. I'm assuming this is a vacuum. We'll keep this inside here. Let's see what else all is in here. Got the box. Protection, or enough to, uh, to keep it safe. is where the vacuum basically comes back by itself, recharges, but also empties itself. So it should be, I believe, around a 30 or 45 day collection of uh, basically you know, garbage that it picks up, keeps it in here, but also recharges it. So when the vacuum itself gets full, it'll come back here, empty in this unit, go back and finish vacuuming, and then come back to the base and charge it for its own, uh, it's, its own cycle. So that's the base here. Let's take a look and see what's all in here. We've got, let's see. this is a sensor that you can put down for areas that you don't want it to go to. So that way it goes around that sensor and doesn't go into that area. Two AA batteries, power cable, air filter, and then your dust collection bag or, you know, to keep uh, the dust mites and everything out. So that's nice. A little brush that I'm going to put to the edge so that way it gets the corners of each room. So we'll leave that there. And the main thing, the main unit, of course, the vacuum itself. Da -da -da -da. Whoa. Here it is. Come get a close look at this thing. And wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. That is pretty cool. So it's already got a corner brush, so the other brush that I talked about looks like that might be an extra one. But we'll see. Uh, during the setup process, what this is like. So we've got the vacuum, we've got uh, instruction booklets, 
quick startup guide. Warranty information. And that's it. Good boy. Should we read the instructions, you think? I think so. I think at least the startup guide. I have no idea what I'm doing here. So let's see. The startup guide. So here's what I'm going to do I'm going to go and set this up, and then uh, I'm going to show you guys this thing in actual action because I'm sure you don't want to stand here and or sit here and, and watch me read instructions. So we'll be right back. So that right there, guys, is the Roma i7 Plus. So you guys can see kind of me. It's just been a couple of days now, so that past video. I've had it set up. I've been using it for the last three days now, I think it's been. Yeah, three days. And uh, it actually works absolutely wonders. I've got a lot of hardwood floor, and this thing basically takes over and cleans all the areas for you. It took a little while for it to kind of basically map itself out in the house. So there's like a learning mode, you basically train it. And while it's trained, it takes about three or four runs throughout the house and it figures out where everything is. So, or if you've got things that are, are in place, it'll learn and it'll basically go around. It does a great job in being able to take corners and basically glide against it to be able to work properly. Now, if you've got kids, a dog or things that sometimes get in the way, it does have difficulty, a little bit difficulty with being able to maneuver around that because basically once it learns the map, it thinks that it's got a clear way to go ahead and, and basically continue on. So if you've got things in the way, then it basically bumped into it very lightly, it doesn't damage it or anything like that. And then it'll just kind of go around. So it does do that pretty well. Uh, but just keep in mind, you want to try to take the clutter out of the way as much as you can. And you want to be able to keep the floors uh, debris free, not debris, but like obstacle free, I should say. So that way it does go around and clean really well. It's been multiple runs so far and it's done again a great job. It looks like it's, it's you know, in still in great shape. It's got a few scuffs here and there uh, just from bumping things, but it has not at all damaged like the wall or the trim or, or anything like that. So as you guys can see, it's still in decent shape. And this is just a little bit of dust that's not like scuff marks or anything like that there's the bin for it again that's where it collects all the debris now one thing i will say that i learned really quickly is this thing is loud so overall when it's cleaning if you're planning on doing it at night and you're a sound sleeper or you're a light sleeper i should say this is probably not going to work for you at night and when it's running on the floor itself, it's actually not too bad, but when it goes over the ventilations that's like in the floor, kind of like that right there, this makes noise. So it basically goes around it or on top of it and it makes it very, very loud. So that part kind of stinks. Obviously if you've got you know vents in each room for AC as well as heat here in the US. So when it does that, it's very, very loud. Second part that's very loud is the time when it comes back and empties uh, into this right here. So during the day, if you've got things going on, it won't bother you. But if you're doing it at night uh, and you're thinking, okay, I'm going to go to sleep. I'm going to set this thing to go ahead and clean. You might want to think twice if you're a light sleeper. If you're a sound sleeper, it's not going to bother you. It is loud and you'll probably just sleep right through it. The first night I tried it, uh, I woke up. Second night I tried it, I'm like, maybe I'll get used to it. Couldn't get used to it. So I decided I'm gonna run it early in the morning when I first get up and then towards the night before I go to sleep, I'm gonna make sure it runs. Now, the one thing I will tell you is now that I've run it a couple of different times in the house, I know exactly how long it takes for it to clean each room. So that way I can go ahead and time it according to my schedule. I know it's gonna take roughly about 15 minutes for it to vacuum my living room. Uh, I do have a lot of obstacles that I need to go around, so that's why. Otherwise, you know, it's, it's anywhere between 10 to 15 minutes or so per room, I would say, based on how my house is laid out, it takes for it to, to clean. So on the first floor here, I've got my living room, my family room, my dining room, my kitchen, my office, and then uh, my laundry room. So it does go and clean basically all those rooms, and it takes about 45 minutes to an hour, depending on how I have it set up. So that's kind of nice. The second thing is, once you do have it fully mapped out, uh, you can go ahead and assign certain rooms. So if you wanted to clean just the living room, for example, you can go ahead and have it clean just the living room or just the kitchen. You don't have to clean the entire floor 
you can pick and choose which one you want to do. Another thing you can do is you can break those down. So if there's one or two rooms that don't get used that often, maybe you want to you know, schedule to clean those maybe once or twice a week versus every single day, or maybe have those clean during the day, uh, or and have the other rooms clean you know, at, at your leisure or your schedule. When you are going to break it up, uh, it's not going to be a constant run for an hour and a half, two hours, or whatever it might be, depending on your house. You can break those rooms down and have it clean those certain rooms. So that's kind of nice. So this has been, again, three days now, four days now that I've, I've had this. I will do a full review on it once I have a really good idea of what I like, don't like, and things that work well and don't work well. But this is kind of what I've seen in, la in the last couple of days. So I wanted to share it with you guys and uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.